Manny Pacquiao, the boxing hero from the Philippines, he's also an elected official, has had his assets frozen in all his domestic bank accounts over allegations that he owes $50 million in unpaid taxes. Uh, in his defense, Pacquiao says he paid his taxes, and furthermore, there's a treaty between our country uh, and their country that avoids double taxation. Really? So we thought we'd talk with a certified tax specialist, former senior trial attorney for the IRS. His name is Dennis Brager. Mr. Brager, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. My pleasure, Larry. How much trouble is Pacquiao in? Well, uh, of course, the trouble he's in is in the Philippines, not here in, in the U.S. necessarily. We haven't heard anything that suggests he's got a problem here in, in, uh, in the United States. If he had a problem here, I think we'd know about it. You would think so. Yeah. So is there, is there a treaty between us and them that says if you pay taxes here, you don't have to pay taxes there? Uh, basically, and that's uh, pretty common, uh, we have treaties with a number of countries that provide the same thing. Uh, you know, if, uh, if he was paying 30% in the Philippines and 30% here in the U.S., uh, that's, you know, a pretty high tax rate. I think most people would agree. So the treaty is that the person will pay taxes here in this country if the event took place in this country and doesn't have to pay taxes in the Philippines? He gets credit. Uh, for whatever tax he actually paid here mm -hmm. against whatever his taxes might have been in the Philippines. Now, he said that he showed them some document uh, that suggested that he was entitled to a credit, and apparently they didn't believe it. Well, uh, apparently, and I just know what I read in the news report, uh, the Philippine government was given essentially a, uh, a wire transfer, a copy of a wire transfer um uh, going from the uh, promoter to the IRS in a, in a specific amount. Uh, but the Philippine government apparently wants something directly from the Internal Revenue Service. I mean, I, I think the problem is, is that the way this works is whoever is paying uh, Manny the money mm -hmm. uh, is required to withhold 30 percent. But let's assume that... Uh, he had a, a bunch of expenses. He's, you know, he's paying his uh, business manager. He's paying commission. He's paying trainers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He gets a deduction for that amount. And at the end of the year, like everybody else, he can file a tax return. And just like you might have, uh, uh, you know, deductions withheld from your paycheck by your employer, at the end of the year or April 15th, you go to the IRS, you put down all your expenses, etc., and you sort of even things out. You might get a refund. So the fact that the money went in in the first place doesn't mean that that money stayed with the, with the U.S. government. And I can see that that's why the Philippines would, would not want to rely simply on this receipt that the 30 percent was paid over. What happens next? Well, uh... As I understand it, uh, uh, Manny's uh, counsel, uh, attorneys and accountants, have uh, requested the IRS provide them with uh, various certified documents that would uh, prove that, in fact, the money was paid and kept by the IRS. Uh, it's, it's not clear to me uh, what's, what's taken so long. It's a relatively uh, straightforward procedure. And uh, according, again, according to the news reports, this has been going on for, you know, years. Mm -hmm. So why this information wasn't provided earlier, uh, you know, if, if nothing else, just seems a little suspicious, but uh, hard, hard to say why. Uh, the other interesting thing is, is that this treaty that you talked about, uh, one of its provisions allows the Philippine government to go directly to the IRS and request the information themselves. Now, that can be a little bit of a cumbersome process. Right. Maybe they just want uh, uh, him to, uh, to, to do it on his own, but uh, that, that is available to the Philippine government should they decide to, to go down that route. Dennis Brager is my guest, certified tax specialist, former senior trial attorney with the IRS Office of the General Counsel. Dennis, we only have about a minute or two left. I want to ask you uh, if I can change the subject slightly. Is it true that if you have smart lawyers like you, smart tax people like you, and you are wealthy, you can figure out a way of avoiding taxes altogether. I think that's, uh, uh, that's a little bit of hyperbole. Uh, you know, certainly you can 
uh, reduce them. There, there are things you can uh, you can do, uh, but I think that it's it's pretty rare that you can walk around with, with with bunches of money and still not pay any tax. So it's just a big myth that there are a bunch of rich people who figured out clever ways of not paying taxes by getting offshore accounts. Uh, that just that's just a myth. Well, uh, offshore accounts. I mean, now we're starting potentially to talk about tax evasion. Yeah, you can you can hide money overseas, and maybe the IRS will catch you, and maybe they won't. Uh, but but there's a big difference between tax evasion and, and smart tax planning. Right. So there's no legal way that a wealthy guy can avoid paying income taxes. There's no legal way that a wealthy guy can do that. Not for any extended period of time, let's mm-hmm. put it that way. Got it. Dennis Brager, certified tax specialist, former senior trial attorney with the IRS. Dennis, thank you so much. I appreciate it. My pleasure. 1-800-222-5222. When we come back, I've got a trivia question for you. And if you can identify this trivia question, it's a presidential trivia question, very simple question, very straightforward question. If you can identify this particular president, I will give you an autographed copy of Dear Father, Dear Son. I know you can't believe I'm that generous, but I am. Autographed copy of Dear Father, Dear Son, a very simple trivia question about a president. 1-800-222-5222. Call Audrey right now. If you want a copy of Dear Father, Dear Son, autographed copy, personalized copy, call right now at 1-800-222-5222. But you have to earn it. You have to answer a trivia question about a president. Larry Oldham. 